Animal lovers can rejoice with this one after months of being closed. The Riverbank Zoo and Gardens in South Carolina is ready to open as soon as this Saturday, just in time for the long holiday weekend. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris explains how the zoo would go about welcoming visitors and an update on the status of the North Carolina Zoo. Yeah, and boy is Riverbank Zoo and Gardens ready for this reopening. I'm told they have lost more than $5 million in revenue because March through May typically would have brought in six to 8,000 people on weekdays alone. Even now, they may only get to see half of that. You can't have a zoo with no animals, but a zoo with no people is just as bad. It has been a challenging season for the zoo. And by challenging, Susan O'Kane with Riverbank Zoo and Gardens in South Carolina means non-existent. It's never a good time to have to close your gates to the public, especially in what is historically your busiest time of year. But that changes on Saturday when the zoo will reopen for the first time since March. We've already had uh, quite an overwhelming response to our ticket stores. But O'Kane says the park shouldn't get overwhelmed because they're limiting capacity. They will have a, a timed entry, so everyone will be com coming in on a staggered basis. O'Kane says only certain attractions will be open. Staff will limit families around exhibits to prevent overcrowding and social distancing reminders are placed throughout the park. We have increased our hand washing stations. We've increased our hand sanitizer. Further north, the North Carolina Zoo is still closed and studying zoos like Riverbanks is reopening plans to kind of see what are what are they doing? What are their challenges? What's their what are their successes? In the meantime, Debbie Fuchs with the North Carolina Zoo says their virtual zoo platform has actually been a hit. We have people as far away as Nova Scotia, California that are tuning in. Fuchs says they go on adventures with the animals, do science experiments, and go behind the scenes at the zoo. It's very important, to, even though we're in our homes, to stay connected to wildlife and nature. So if you can't be here in person, this is really the next best thing. Now, as far as Riverbank Zoo goes, the staff there will be in masks, and masks are strongly recommended for the public, but they are not going to be a requirement. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.